Jesse play. He looked like he was shot out of a cannon that time. And that's the double option, the change up from the triple. There isn't the triple option to the running back. It's the fullback and then the quarterback. You can see right here that we'll try to get a look at after the play, but that's really been a successful play for Air Force today. The quarterback has option number two. 17 yards on the play. Sean Carney back to throw. He's got time. Throws a strike. Complete. The catch is made. And it's going to be J.P. Waller, and that'll be another first down, and he threw a strike on his first effort of the afternoon. This is the play we're talking about. Watch the fullback is option one, and option two is the quarterback running. The third option, normally in the triple option, the pitch man is actually a lead blocker for the quarterback on that play, and this is the finish on the pass. I mean, that's a frozen rope, actually, no pun intended, on a very cold day, but that's what Carney brings to the table, his ability to throw the ball accurately. Best passing quarterback they've had in a long, long time. One of the best passing efforts they've had all year long. And the Schaefer this time, Schaefer across the 40, inside the 40, to the 36-yard line. He'll be dropped there, a gain of almost eight yards on the play. All of a sudden, you can see new life in this Air Force team. It, it's it's oh, so ironic. In, in the game of football, it isn't hard to, to find irony, but here the young man comes back in after being relieved a couple of weeks ago, and he's the one that's adding the spark right now. Starting to snow here again at Falcon Stadium. Carney back to throw, looking up the field. The ball is up near side. Mesero can't make it. We're going to pass interference at the 15-yard line. Mesero tangled up. That was Marviel Underwood defending on the play, and that'll be a first down for Air Force. Marvell Underwood just simply gets there just a little bit too early. We'll see it here in a second. Very easy call to make. Marvell Underwood doesn't look back. Number one route, a post from the outside, up and out from the inside and that time Underwood had it covered if he just turns and looks for the football Gary he had no idea where the football was no he didn't so it'll be a first down and all of a sudden now if Air Force scores here it's going to get really interesting 11 38 left in this game the Falcons down by 10 that's the eighth penalty tonight against San Diego State totaling 80 yards got a market at the 22 blitz coming and uh, they're going to get straight ahead to Schaefer. A lot of movement up there. No flag on the play. The blitz and then uh, going in motion with Stevens on the play. So it was all legal. And they get a couple of yards. Close to three. It'll bring up second down. And there's Morrison. 14 tackles. He was number two in the league in, in tackles a year ago. Led the team at the start of the day with 86. A semifinals for the Butkus Award. One of 12 guys still in the running. Second down, let's make it eight yards to go. Schaefer is the fullback. Carney, back to throw, got a lot of protection, throwing up the field, and the catch is made at the 10-yard line, and that's a catch by J.P. Waller, and that's another first down to the 10, and let's go down to Anne Marie. Okay, you guys, I finally gave in in the third. That. I'm telling you. The trainer at Air Force told me I could sit down. These benches are heated. It makes a huge difference. San Diego State is on aluminum benches. They say it's 21 degrees down here, and that's without the wind chill factor. Come on, you guys are inside. You know what, Amory? 21. She's at least about 75 right there sitting on that heater. Boy, you're styling with that jacket. Here is Carney back on a quarterback draw to the five. Carney, touchdown, Air Force, and we've got a ball game. Do you understand why the young freshman was playing early in the year, Gary? Absolutely do. And there was a good example of it. A good point, Kelly. I mean, what a, I guess, a luxury to have two guys that can run your team like Fitch and now Sean Carney. And, and they approach the game differently. They bring different things to the table. And sometimes what you need, Fitch has, and sometimes it's that young man that we just saw going to the end zone. Carney was saying it kind of hurt his confidence a little bit being taken out of the starting lineup, but he didn't look like it on that drive. An 80-yard drive with seven plays, a 16-yard run. Now, flags everywhere. I think San Diego State jumped offside. I think you're right. Decline it and go kick this ball off. We have us a game. Yes, we do. It is a three-point game. 
34-31. That was Dimps who jumped offside. And so, Sean Carney offside. engineers the drive. 21, and Lee's decline. His sixth and rushing touchdown of the year. And Fisher to Barry's team has climbed back in. Down by three as Carney makes it a little uncomfortable. You'd never hear this from John, but he owns the best car repair shop in town. He's got a well-deserved reputation for getting it right the first time. He listens to his customers. He uses top quality Napa parts, and he backs up his work every time. Now, as much as we'd like to take credit for it, a shop like John's isn't this good because there's a Napa sign out front. Fact is, there's a Napa sign out front because John's shop is this good. I just want to die with a little dignity. There's no such thing. The critics have called House the best hospital show since the debut of ER. They say you have a gift. They like to talk. House, the series premiere at 9, 8 Central, Tuesday on Fox. Some people deserve special treatment, especially now. In honor of America's heroes, Furniture Row Shopping Center is having a Veterans Day Extra Savings event. All veterans, active military, police, fire, and rescue workers, and their families will, for a limited time, receive an extra 7% off our already guaranteed lowest prices. Plus, all those who qualify can get no payments and no interest until 2006. Hurry in with any proof of service. Furniture Row's Veterans Day Extra Savings event ends Tuesday, November 16th. Nobody can do what Mako does. Mako can repaint your entire car fast. In most cases, just a few days. Our economical ambassador paint service is only $249. Make it easy, make it right, make it Mako. It is snowing, but it's getting warmer for Air Force fans because Sean Carney was superb. And it's time now for the Articat drive of the game as Sean Carney coming in, engineering the drive of 80 yards and the touchdown run. And we'll take a look at that after the kick. So Carney comes in, and we have a three-point football game. Orange, Connerly back for the kick from Greenaway. It's really snowing now. Visibility is uh, decreasing. It's a beautiful day here in Colorado. And the kick by Greenaway very high, and it's going to go out of bounds. And was it touched before it went out of bounds? It was, so they won't bring it out to 35. Let's look at Carney's touchdown. We're going to see a quarterback draw, and there's a reason this is the first time we've seen it today. Carney's in the game. He throws the football. The quarterback draw becomes something that's now a viable play because San Diego State has to respect the drop back pass when this young man's in the football game. Tom Kraft had his team encircled him on the near sideline, realizing there's a long ways to go. 10-39 to be exact. Southern California type weather for Tom Kraft with his sunglasses on. The snow continuing to fall. His team up by three. Forms a running back will get this carry. And he's going to get two, five, make it 10, 15. And he gets an 18-yard run out of a play. It looked like it had nothing doing at all. Boy, is this kid tough. This guy looks like he's got some cramps now as uh, holding those toes. Why not? This guy has been a busy customer. You have to tackle this young man, and Air Force has already learned that. They think they have him there, and he bounces outside. See, Gary, that's what they misunderstand, is just because he's big and can run inside the tackles doesn't mean that the young man isn't capable of bouncing it outside like he did right there. Warrens has uh, gotten a big play in this game. First down, out to the 38-yard line, he'll shake it off. You'd think as cold as it is, you wouldn't have as many cramping problems. But uh, this guy is going to be okay. He'll be back after another, at least one snap off the field. Well, Anne Marie did some story last week about pickle juice preventing cramps. I think they need some of that in this cold weather. Maybe rather, all the juice is frozen. I think I'd rather have the cramps than eat pickle juice or drink it. Yeah, First down right. now at the 38. Mike Franklin replaces him. This is Franklin. And the little guy bounces off of one. Look at this. Out to the 50. He almost broke that. Tackled, and it'll be a first down. Michael Franklin just kind of darting around, bouncing off of people, got to the 49 for a first down. What's interesting about this, if you Michael Franklin's in the game, you think outside. You don't think between the tackles, but watch him make people miss right here. Look at that little shake. You can't teach that little shake, but 
the defense generally expects the offense to focus outside and on the edges when that young man is in the game. You can see what he did last year in the victory in San Diego, and today he contributes again. So two first down runs now. San Diego State with their lead cut to three, trying to get some ball possession going, and we're going to have a timeout by the Aztecs. So Tom Crapp in what is now becoming a heavy snowstorm calls timeout. 34-31, San Diego State. This season, give the gift of John Madden and Dale Jarrett's holiday CD. A whole lot of sacks, and it's only the first quarter. A collection of 20 all-time classics. Holidays are the pitch. As only John and Dale can sing them. North Pole Position. For a gift people will actually want, come in now to Outback Steakhouse and buy holiday gift certificates today. We say yes when everyone else says no. International Motors. You got bad credit, you don't know what to do. International Motors has the answer for you. Your down payment makes it easy as can be. We've got the selection and a great warranty. We say yes when everyone else says no. International Motors. Are you ready? Some people deserve special treatment, especially now. In honor of America's heroes, Furniture Row Shopping Center is having a Veterans Day Extra Savings event. All veterans, active military, police, fire, and rescue workers, and their families will, for a limited time, receive an extra 7% off our already guaranteed lowest prices. Plus, all those who qualify can get no payments and no interest until 2006. Hurry in with any proof of service. Furniture Row's Veterans Day Extra Savings event ends Tuesday, November 16th. The fatigues are the order of the day on this cold, blustery day here in Colorado Springs as uh, San Diego State now trying to get a long, sustained drive going. They picked up a couple of first downs. Borns has come back into the game now. He went out with some leg problems, some leg cramps, and so we come back. San Diego State using the timeout. They have two remaining. They have a ball at their own 49-yard line and a first down and a three-point lead in the game. O'Connell going to follow. He's back through the hole, and uh, he'll get into Air Force into the field. There's a late flag as he's tackled to the 48-yard line. The flag came out after the play had been concluded. Let's see what they're going to do here. San Diego State is pointing towards Air Force, and it is against the Falcons, and that's a critical mistake now because Air Force needs the football, and that will just sustain the effort for San Diego State. Personal foul. We've had two against the Aztecs, now one against the Falcons. Fisher wants to know who did it. It's hard to see at this point in time right there. Julian Madrid, number four. Yeah. Be, I mean, let's let him play football. Yeah, I don't I think it's I mean, come on, I can see if he goes and puts a helmet on somebody or puts his shoulder pads, but a, a gentle push in the back on a 300-pound man yeah. standing by the pile? you got to be kidding me. That's uh, getting a little testy. Madrid, of course, the freshman out of San Diego. So that'll get the first down to 33, and uh, it's going to be a carry forward this time by Bournes, and uh, Bournes is uh, dropped there. And let's take a look now at our Outback Steakhouse outstanding back of the game. We're going to give it to Bournes. He has been a workhorse. Look at this, 23 carries, 90 yards, and two touchdowns. And there have been a handful of times, Gary, where he got the tough yards inside where they needed a first down, and he's been able to bounce outside a couple times. Very effective, regardless of what they've had him doing. So they continue to move the ball and eat up the clock. 8.40 now left in this game. Going to bring up now, second down and nine. O'Connell, quick hitch, completes it to Webb. Webb breaks one tackle and is going to be shoved out of bounds near the 26-yard line, and it'll bring up a third down. Well, let's check some scores from the ESPN USA Today uh, poll. Texas beating Kansas. Michigan pounding on the Wildcats in Northwestern. 
West Virginia, that's only their second loss this year. Boise State remained alive. How about Iowa, Oklahoma State? They are such a good football team. And Auburn, 24-0 over Georgia. I mean, that's and Look at the big. other one there, Michigan State, 35-14 to 14 over know. Wisconsin. That could really help you, Joe. I would think if Wisconsin loses that game. Bournes now in the backfield. Play action. O'Connell throwing. And he completes the pass. And I'll tell you, it's really, visibility-wise, decreasing here as they complete the pass to Devin Pitts. That's a great look of it right there. I mean, that snow is really starting to affect things. But I still think the advantage is with the offensive side of the ball. If the quarterback can handle the ball, the receivers know where they're going, and the defense has to react. And sometimes the footing isn't good. And that time right there, the defensive back for Air Force was giving them a lot of room. Heavy snow, I believe it. Look at the wind chill factor. Don't tell Ann Marie. She's down there sitting on that bench. Oh, what difference does it yeah, make to her? Right. She's in the clover right now. As they have a first down now inside the 20, Bourne shut down. Now, something to think about here. If San Diego State has to settle for a field goal, it still means an Air Force only needs to score the touchdown and a point after to win this game. So you know San Diego State does not want to settle for three. Well, and it's also a, attempting a field goal in weather like this is sometimes an adventure when you have, a, have an accurate deep snap to a holder that isn't used to handling the football in conditions like this. That could be an event as well. Palmer's done a good job, however, for the San Diego State team. Had a 26-yard field goal, a 37-yard field goal. Here we go now, second down and 11. O'Connell with a play action, having trouble with his footing, scrambling around. Here come the Falcons, he's just gonna throw it away. Again, when he's had trouble in this game, Kelly, is when he comes out from underneath center and his footing gives way. And there was another example right. of it. So now we are third down and 11. And there is Palmer waiting for possibly his third field goal attempt. You know, Gary, that last time, San Diego State was obviously expecting pressure from Air Force's defense, and they didn't get pressure. San Diego State had one receiver out on the route, and it's easy to cover him if you don't come after the quarterback and you're covering with seven people. This is a huge play. Third down and 11. 7.20 left in the game. O'Connell on a delayed handoff to Ford. Breaks tackles, but he's not going to get the first down. As he got to the 12, it'll be a fourth down now. And Tom Kraft has to make a decision. And he's going to send on the field goal team. Coaches can get you in the position to make plays, but they can't make them for you. You have to make that tackle right there. And Bournes makes the defender miss and then gets extra yards. But they didn't get it into the end zone. This could be an adventure right here, Gary. A good hold, good snap, and see if they can get this kick up. Be a 29-yard attempt. Palmer is two for two today. 640 left. Again, it would give them a six-point lead. It would be a minor victory for Air Force, even if they come up with a field goal. High snap. Kick is on the way into the driving snowstorm, and he got it. And so Palmer has really done the job. Again, a guy who went to Utah. He said nobody showed any interest in him. He transferred to San Diego State, and they are really glad he's now wearing an Aztecs uniform. Utah with a chance now to maybe move even higher in the BCS. Wisconsin's in trouble. Auburn winning big today. Wisconsin. You know, that team right there, Gary, won by two points today. Yep. Wisconsin is struggling. You know, it, Utah has a great shot if they can take care of business down in Laramie, which is not going to be easy, which you've already alluded to. Yep. And if the weather's like this, which yeah. I assume it is, but I tell you, that Utah team has been so impressive. Last three games, 50-plus points. But here's the situation here. We have a six-point game, 6.30 left. Air Force has all three of their timeouts left. And so they realize they can win it with a touchdown drive and a point after. And they have Sean Carney in control right now, and obviously we know that he can throw the football down the field. And Palmer will kick it off. Boy, Palmer's done a nice job for this team. Three field goals today as he will boot this one. This is going to be very returnable. Mezzerall make that handling from the goal line up to the 20. Boy, he really takes it up the field. I mean, he's a poor south guy on the kickoff, and he brings it out to the 22. We have a player shaken up on the field. 
And that's where Air Force will set it up. It's a San Diego State player. Shake it up. They're going to have to hold up play momentarily. Looks like that is uh, Connor Lee, who is the guy who returns the kicks. And uh, right now, uh, hobbling off the field. So Sean Carney coming in relief of an injured Adam Fitch. The last time he moved him 80 yards and scored on a touchdown scramble. Has all three timeouts left. And again, what's at stake for Air Force? They've got to win today to keep their bowl hopes alive. And I'm going to tell you, you having a flight to catch tonight? You I may have not to get actually out of here. drive back to Nebraska tonight. I may not get out. This is getting a little shaky weather-wise. Here is Carney now starting this drive. Hands off. And no, he kept it. Carney keeps the ball as he's out to the 27-yard line, a gain of about five. It'll bring up second down five. It's, it's hard to see who has the football. It's hard enough on a clear day sometimes with this triple option, but when there's snows flying like this, but that's a good first down play by them. Five yards on first down is a very successful play for Air Force running that option. Going against the dark side defense now with less than six minutes to go. They come up now with a second down and five. Air Force down by six. Carney giving straight ahead to Kendrick this time. Kendrick fumbled the ball earlier in the game, you might recall, but he hangs on this time, and he's got a first down. They'll move the ball out to the 34, and they move the sticks. Now let's take a look now at the Cooper Tire defensive player of the game, and this guy's won this award before, I'm sure. Kirk Morrison, 17 tackles. He is something special. You know, if you if you gave him that award at the top, but you'd be right probably 95% of the time. I agree. Your odds would be very good. First down now at the 34 for the Falcon. They're going to come on the blitz. Carney rolling away from it. He's going to set. He's going to throw deep. He's got the ball up in the air for water. Incomplete. And it was a battle between he and Underwood. Underwood won an offensive pass interference. So did Tom Kraft and the coaching staff. Instead, it's an incomplete pass. And on the other end of that, Carney absolutely gets leveled by Stephen Larson, number 45. We won't be able to see it probably. I mean, it's very well covered. Underwood does a very good job. The push right there at the end by Holstead is what they were complaining about. This yeah. is what was happening on the other side. Whoa. Man, that'll, that'll jar Larson's your saying, dentures. Welcome back, young man. Oh. So now it's going to be second down 10. Carney back again. Throwing near side. Almost picked up. Tried to hit Waller. That was a nice play that time by Donnie Baker. He had, coming into the game, 11 passes broken up. He's kind of their fifth defensive back, if you will. Not very big, 170 pounds. So we already have a third down. And Baker's on the field because Jacob Elamimian did not make the trip, and he's a very good corner for this team. Missed a lot of the year that he, he isn't even on the sideline today. Baker's done a tremendous job in that position. Well, Air Force comes to third down. Down by six, 5.16 to go. Field starting to become very white as the snow continues to fall. Running back set with Cole at fullback. Play action, Carney back, Sean Carney throwing up the field. It's complete, but falling down was Sharon. He had a lot of running room and he stayed on his feet, so it's fourth down. You gotta believe Air Force is gonna go for it here, don't you? I think it might be a little bit too early. Do you, you to do think that so? Here. Yeah, I think so. You have three timeouts left that just went under five minutes. Okay. A little more accurate pass right here. You see it's high. He had to leave his feet, lost his feet, and that was the difference between getting a first down and not picking up a first yeah, down. Yeah, it's further than I thought, too. It's fourth down and about four. So they will punt it away. Heaton's had one block today. And this one underway. He got it underway. Kicking into the snowstorm. Back deep is Baker. And Baker's dropped instantly at the 20-yard line. So now at the 20, San Diego State protecting a six-point lead. Four minutes, 32 seconds left to go. One of the things I really appreciate about coming to Sonic is that if I want to get my supersonic cheeseburger how I want it, then that's how they'll make it. Yeah, absolutely. I want no mustard. I want extra ketchup. They'll do that for me. I do think, though, that that power is making you a little bossy. Wow. I have, Just, I have uh, no idea. Yeah. No idea what you're talking about. Okay. Why don't you order me a Sunday though, huh? Better burgers. Sonic's got them, others don't. Our burgers are better because we make them after you order them, the way you like them, with the freshest ingredients. It's not just good, it's Sonic good.
It's the 21st century. Trade like it with Ameritrade. 21st century technology gives you an edge so you can work smarter. On the new Ameritrade website, built for traders by traders, you'll get tools like QuoteScope and Command Center screen. You'll have your finger on the pulse so you can find and seize potential opportunities in any market. All for only $10.99 per trade. Sign up for Ameritrade today and get 30 commission-free internet equity trades. Innovative technology makes you smarter. It's the 21st century. Trade like it. Call 888-303-9778 today or go to Ameritrade.com slash start. We have 4 minutes 32 seconds left in this one. San Diego State with a 6-point lead and they have the ball to 20-yard line. Air Force with three timeouts left, but uh, fast, running out of time. San Diego State with O'Connell trying to get his first victory as a starting quarterback, his fourth straight start. And I tell you, this guy really gives him an excellent future. O'Connell now has one wide out to the near side. Bourne's a running back. Bourne's with his 24th carry of the day, and he's shut down. No place to go. May have lost a half yard. It'll bring up second down. And is Air Force going to use the timeout? They let the clock continue to run. 4-17. They have all three left. It'll bring up second down. Again, Air Force must win this game if they have any hopes for postseason play. You know, it's interesting right here for San Diego State. Do you want to put the ball in the air? The conditions aren't real good and you stop the clock for a team that is running out of time. One of the things we documented early in this game is the four foundations of four critical points in this game. And one of them has gotten away from Air Force the turnovers. There's a handoff to Bournes again. Out to the 25, and let's go to Anne Marie. Let's take a look at those four critical areas. Air Force, five turnovers to San Diego's two, so Air Force is losing in that. Punting 33.3 to San Diego State's 40.8, so Air Force is losing in that. They're losing time of possession by a few seconds, and they're winning in penalties. So three of the four, Fisher Berry said you can't lose three of the four and win the game. One of those uh, punts was blocked, too. So well, you actually have to win three of four yes. as far as Fisher. You don't just win one or two. You have to win three or four of those. There's a big play. Third down and five. And uh, timeout, San Diego State. So something wasn't right. Tom Kraft didn't like what he was seeing. So they will use the timeout. They have one left. So this could be the football game right here on a third and five as Air Force needs to stop. So with um, Kelly Stopper and Anne Marie Anderson, I'm Gary Bender. Glad to have you with us on a snowy, cold day here at the United States Air Force Academy. Right now, San Diego State is three minutes, eight seconds away from their first road victory, their first conference win. Air Force desperately wanting the football to keep their postseason hopes alive. Our producer, Lou Cusero, Scott Markey, our director, Dan Voss, our statistician, Tom Delnos, our spotter, and Kelly. Our spotter had to work a little harder. <laughs> he really did. This game. It's hard to spot some things down there. This is going to be an interesting play call. Third and five. Really, the game is on the line right here. And I, I like the idea of keeping the ball in the hands of O'Connell. Not necessarily throwing the football here, but a quarterback draw, that option that they like to do, and let him try to make a play right here of his feet. At the very worst, you keep the clock running. Well, that's uh, been a problem all year long for Air Force. They've given up 456 yards. And John Rudzinski, one of the best in the conference, knows how big this play is. Third down five. <laughs> O'Connell, they're going to stay on the ground. The board, he's, he's not going to get it. It's fourth down. Ryan Carter leading the charge who's such a great leader for this team from Waterloo, Wisconsin, from Edgewood High School, came up, made the stop, and Air Force is going to get the football. This is a surprising call right here. This is what you want to do with the big back, of get him going to the sideline sideways, and then you can put him on the ground. Good job by the defense, but an interesting call. I think Tom Kraft is saying, Air Force, I bet you cannot drive the ball on my defense today. And Air Force uses their first timeout. They have two remaining with 2.58 left. 
So they're going to need some heroics from uh, Sean Carney. Again, we'll reiterate, they must win today. Because if they don't win today, their hopes are over. Their tough loss to Utah early in the season. But a team that had uh, won last week against Army after losing two straight in the conference. And, of course, they play host to Colorado State. And uh, these guys feel no pain, I guess. <laughs> I guess not. That is amazing. You know, I thought guys at the Air Force Academy were so bright. The security of our country is in the hands of some of those guys down the line. How does that make you feel? Here we go now. As Hughes will putt away, J.P. Water goes back for Air Force. They put some time back on the clock. Three minutes and two seconds. The putt into the snowstorm. Going to let it hit. And uh, it's going to take a San Diego State bounce. A very fortuitous bounce down to the 16-yard line. And that's where... Air Force will have it with two timeouts left down by six. That ended up being a heck of a punt, a punt of 58 yards. So Tom Kraft exhorting his dark side defense to close the door. And Sean Carney trying to pull out some heroics here for the academy. There's the number so far, three of five, that one rushing touchdown. Coming in relief of Adam Fitch who had uh, some rib injury, a problem, and had to come out of the game. Tough, tough place to be. Cole will be the fullback. But this Carney has shown us great moxie all year long. He's back to throw. Comes out throwing. Ball up in the air. Far side. Mesereau couldn't locate it. Alec Mesereau trying to turn. He had his shoulders turned the wrong way and could not get to the football. Well, Wisconsin was struggling today against Michigan State. And they are more than struggling. They're going to lose a football game. That's a shock. That, that really is. And, of course, Wisconsin ahead of Utah in the BCS standings. And so that would help the Utes. who will play later today in Laramie. Here is Carney back on second and ten. Throws up the field, and a diving catch is made by J.P. Waller. And that'll be a first down catch. The 241 left. Wow, and what a catch it was right there. Good throw, but a much better catch. Carney's going to move to his left a little bit, plant your feet, throw it. But on the other end, that is tremendous because remember, it's a first down. Just a simple out route, given plenty of space, which you should because of the footing right now on the field, but a very good catch at the end of that play. 12 yard pickup on the play, just short of the 30 yard line. Air Force again with two timeouts. Carney back to throw. Got time. Throws up the field. An Air Force receiver fell down. There'll be a pass interference. Mezzerol was knocked down at the 42-yard line. I mean, just knocked flat on his back. So that'll be another first down for Air Force. Stops the clock. Two minutes, 24 seconds left. When it was really uncalled for because Hubert Calise, number 10, and Marvell Underwood had him inside outside right here on a post route. You can see at the top of the screen, Underwood bailing out. He had help inside. Calise didn't have to make that desperate of an attempt and throw Meserol to the floor. Well, Air Force with new life. And uh, Sean Carney now with pretty good field position. They got to start this one now from the 44 yard line with 224 left. Again, down by six. And the postseason opportunities on the line now for the Academy. And the wing hanging tough as they are staying with everything. There's not a lot of people left in this ballpark right now with this weather. But nobody from the wing is left here today. No, the fellow cadets aren't going anywhere, and some of them are even stripping their clothes off. I don't, and they don't have a lot of body fat around here. Do you notice that? <laughs> I mean, it isn't like those guys have that uh, body fat to keep them warm e either. <laughs> All right, here we are now. Make it the 39-yard line. I think I said the 44. It's a 39-yard line. First down. Carney now will send Hamley in motion. Comes rolling to the near sideline. He's going to get hit, spin, stays on his feet, gets buried as he's across the 40, and that's about it. Took a big shot from behind. Blake Lobel was the guy there that made the tackle, and the clock runs now with 2.09. Nothing is open in the right flat. He's looking right. Look at that move right there. That was amazing. But Lobel continuing to work hard from his defensive tackle position gets him down from behind. Second down and nine inside two minutes left. Carney on a half roll. 
looking, scrambling, comes out of the pack. He's going to run to the 45, tackle very close to the first down. Let's see where they mark it. If his forward progress is to the 50, it's a first down. And one of the officials along the way is standing on the 50, but I don't think they're going to give him that mark. It could be a yard short. Let's see where they mark. They're going to mark this football. Heck, heck of an effort that time by Carney being flushed out of the pocket, staying alive. It's going to be a yard short. It's third down. Ball now at the 48 and a half yard line. They obviously in four down territory now. You can see four for 11 today on third down. And the handoff going straight ahead that time for the first down. And they'll have it with Adam Cole carrying the ball. They get to the San Diego State 49. Clock stopped as they move the sticks. A minute 25. And the officials. Uh, the Air Force is going to burn one. Yeah, they're going to use another one. Out. They have one left. Well, there's never been any quit in Air Force. They've always been one of those resilient teams. You can see early in the year, they played California. We all know how good they are. Played Utah, two top 15 ranked teams in the country. The Navy loss was really devastating. Yeah, this stretch right here, actually, Utah and Navy back to back with Navy, like you said, was devastated because they came back, ended up losing by a field goal in that game. But that was the stretch that they struggled. And then it wasn't until the Wyoming game, that was the first week that Fisher DeBerry said that he didn't feel his team was getting any better. Yeah. And that's why they ended up trying to make a change at quarterback, and it worked for them can see how effective he's been the winningest coach in the history of the service academies he got his 160th win last week against army and boy would he love to find a way to win this one you can see they're all huddling together trying to stay warm first down one timeout left a minute 25 left the ball at the san diego state 49 yard line sean carney a freshman trying to pull it out for the Falcons. Butler will go in motion. Carney rolls that way, looking for somebody, throws it up the field. The catch is made. It's J.P. Waller. Another first down. Stops the clock inside the 35. I'll tell you what, this is a heck of a throw by Sean Carney. And it was very good patience. You see him kind of double pump right there, but then he puts a little extra mustard on it. The defensive back had slipped down trying to react out of his back pedal, which is what we talked about. When you have to react on field conditions like this, it's treacherous at times. 14 yard pickup inside now the 35 of San Diego State. Field goal to us and no good. They've got to go for the touchdown. Carney being pressured, gets rid of it. He completes it. The catch is made by Sharon, and Sharon is going to be dropped inside the 30 at the 29, a gain of about five. Clock running, approaching a minute to go. Again, Air Force has one timeout left. Carney trying to pull this one out somehow. This time, receivers wide left and wide right. Carney with the snap. He is going to pitch it back. He pitches to Butler. Butler's going to be knocked out of bounds. They didn't get anything on the play. They did get the clock stopped with 50 seconds. And it's going to come to a third down and still five yards to go. 18 tackles for this guy. He is just playing sideline to sideline. You know, that last tackle on the crossing route from the wide receiver from Air Force, I would suggest if you're going to cross the field, cross away from him and go the other direction, or you're running right into the mouth of the lion. He's going to be where he's supposed to be, and rest assured, in the end of the day, he's going to knock your lights out. I would avoid him at all costs. Third down and five now. Again, Air Force in a four-down situation. Adam Cole again, the fullback. Carney is back, quarterback draw. Spins his way, got the first down to the 20. And Carney gets to the 16-yard line. That'll stop the clock with 43 seconds left. What a drive this is by the freshman. Air Force trying to pull it out. 16-yard line. They haven't started the clock yet as they set the sticks. And now they start the clock. Here's Carney again. Keeping, cuts it up the field, got inside the 15, and they're going to have to use their final timeout with 34 seconds left. 
I tell you what, this has ended up being a heck of a football game. It really game. has. And Sean Carney has done a tremendous job. That was not a very good decision right there. They picked up the first down a couple of plays ago. This one right here, a quarterback draw, this time not out of the shotgun. This is what he scored on earlier. This is what the young man brings to the table because he also drops back and throws the football. When this guy's in the game, the quarterback draws alive. You can see thus far, 64 yards passing, 53 rushing, one touchdown, all in relief of an injured Adam Fitch. And I will say this, Fitch did a good job as well. But Carney, really now with no timeouts left, 34 seconds, it's going to be a second and eight. The ball just inside the 15-yard line. And you're definitely going to have to work the boundaries. But remember, Air Force can work the boundaries in their triple option as well. They can get out of bounds that way. But Carney bring something to this Air Force offense in this situation that quarterbacks in the past for Air Force have. He can throw the ball in ways that quarterbacks in recent years haven't been able to here at the academy. Fisher to Barry, he's been in a lot of these circumstances. You can see inside the 20 today, four of six, three touchdowns and a field goal, the best in the Mountain West Conference in the red zone. The only problem is they don't have a lot of time to get it done. 14 yard line is where it is. So Carney, who has grown up in a hurry, hasn't he this year? He really has. 34 seconds to go. Carney sends Hanley a motion back to throw. Pressure coming, able to get out of it, scrambling around, buying some time. He throws it away. And I tell you what, he avoided what would have been a disastrous sack. And that stops the clock with 27 seconds. When you don't have any timeouts, you cannot take a sack. So now with 27 seconds, going to be third down and eight. Well, I tell you, this Mountain West Conference is something, isn't it? Here you have a team that hasn't won on the road all year, hasn't won a conference game, and they're playing their guts out here. In and a snowstorm. I know it. From Southern California, who would have thunk it? Here we go, third down, eight. Three wideouts on this particular set. Carney is back, half roll, looking, throwing, back of the end zone, ball up. And Jason Brown tries to come down with it, cannot, and it's a fourth down. So the game comes down to this. Fourth down and eight with 22 seconds left. And they were trying to find Jason Brown in a kind of a jump ball situation. He's a big receiver at 6'3", so they throw him the ball up and say, go make a big, a big play for us and a big catch. But that time it was just a little bit too high. Game on the line right here, Gary. This is it. So Carney trying to pull it out. Here we go. Fourth down. Little movement. Cray, the left tackle move. So that'll be fourth down now, and uh, it's going to be eight yards to go. Cray, who is probably their best offensive lineman, the sophomore from Tucker, Georgia, flinched. You can see it right here. Big man, number 72, Cray on the bottom there. They were obviously going to throw the football. He was setting his, his pass protection. But remember, they can still pick up a first down just inside the seven-yard line. So they don't necessarily have to throw to the end zone right here. Fourth down. Let's make it 13 yards to go. Here's Carney rolling to the right. Goes up the field, and the ball is intercepted. It's picked up. And San Diego State's Kirk Morrison, a player of the game defensively, made the defensive play of the game as he goes out of bounds and San Diego State is going to win on the road for the first time and their first conference victory of the season. And how fitting for that man to make a play to seal the deal. You can see Carney's trying to hit a dig route which is over the middle but the thing is this ball's too late it needs to come out now. He throws late. Morrison has the chance to react over to it. I'm not so sure he was open even if Morrison wasn't there. You can see Coach DeBerry right here. Difficult time, and he just knows that it's over with. Yeah, they forced that one in there. There's a lot of coverage. Not only Morrison, but there was double coverage further up the field. And so now Air Force can do nothing. They'll go to a knee, and this game is over. And San Diego State will go to 3-7, and 1-5 and of the Mountain West Conference. And Air Force... 
now four and six, and they're going to suffer their first losing season since 1993. Two and four in the conference, and their bowl hopes have ended. So Morrison put the finishing touches on. The Aztecs 37, the Falcons 31.